So let's talk about Batman versus Superman Ultimate Edition. I'm not talking about the theatrical release. That don't get me started with that, please. See, I love it. I love the movie, the Ultimate Edition. Now, granted, there's still some scenes I'll be like, okay, we really probably couldn't really need that in the movie. We. Here's the thing, if a movie, okay, the best thing about a movie, you want to make the movie, if it's like Venom 2, it's like an hour and a half, right? Almost like that, right? Because they, they, they cut it down to the parts that mattered and that served the movie. Now, granted, if a movie is like three, three hours long, and the, every scene, most of, most of the part, serves the movie well and delivers for the movie then go hell go for it but i think with the the original release of the batman versus superman movie that's where it suffered from i feel like it kind of cut down too much and some of it didn't make sense so what the ultimate edition did is pretty much made it make sense pretty much did not like Abomination in this movie. Um, when it comes to the villain villain, I feel like it was kind of a big let, let down. Um, they do the same thing with Marvel Civil War. Kind of, I didn't like Zemo much in that movie, but I did like him in Falcon and the Winter Soldier. But we'll get to that when we get to that. But I like the whole story about it, how, you know, Superman, you know, God versus man, man versus God, you know, the whole... You know, do we need this kind of superhero or do we need this kind of superhero? And for the people like Batman that are heroes but are just like man, kind of look at Superman as a threat. I like the premise of the movie and I like, but sometimes it can be a little slow as in the pacing can slow down a bit. Like it, one second it's hitting the gas pedal going full force, but then it hits the brake and it slows down like really slow. But when the action hit though, the action hit. And that one scene with Batman when he's in the house with those two cops, loved it. It was like straight out of a comic book. Even though I feel like the branding was kind of un-Batman like, but I'm not one of those people. I, I love Bat I like I love Ben Affleck's Batman. I didn't really care for it. I mean the killing, I get it, but it is what it is. But the score of this movie I love. You know me, I love scores. But I would give this a rating a 7.9 out of 10. And that's my review of BVS.